solution to the ongoing war of workers and services in our cities. That's right. Now, That's right. Woo, here's the thing. Do we stop fighting for fairness? No! Do we fold up our tents and go home? No! No, we keep fighting. And it is through this kind of targeted and collaborative approach that we move forward to earn other victories. Yeah, there that's are, right. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There are still corporate loopholes large enough to drive an armored truck through, right. and they need to be closed. We pay taxes. Corporations need to pay their fair share. They want to be individuals so bad. Yeah. They need to do it. I don't know, but we're the heat. Through rage, through snow. Occupy Buffalo. But we are prepared. And as Robert Frost once wrote, wrote, we have promises to go, to keep, and miles to go before we sleep. That's right. And miles to go before we sleep. Oh, and last but not least, January 10th, we are going to approach Governor Cuomo Nice and folks, you should help us out here. We are taking a busload of folks from Buffalo. Yeah! Tell Governor Cuomo that our kids do need to be protected and corporations need to pay their fair share. That's right. And our education right. system needs to happen. Those of you who want to sign up and get on that bus and go to Buffalo, I mean to <laughs> Albany, before the, bu the governor proposes his budget, before then, he needs to hear our demands. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Now, I'm a part of Occupy Buffalo, but I'm also myself, first and foremost, as is, as is everyone else who is here right now. Does Occupy Buffalo occupy your heart? Yeah! I'm a citizen of Buffalo, a citizen of Erie County, a citizen of New York State. I've paid taxes since I've been 12 years old. And where have they gone? To the 1%. 1%. To corporations. To the Walmarts and the Walgreens. And the Kmarts and the Targets of the world. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Shame. Let me wrap with you. There's this group of people about 200 years ago. They sat down in a pub. They're like, this shit's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy all the way across a giant ocean that's like, give us all your money. Taxes on paper, sugar, coffee, tea, things that they drank, used, and had to eat every single day. We're paying higher taxes than our founding fathers are today. I don't think that's right to you. My name is Jared Allen Courier. I'm 25% Italian-American, 45% Irish, a little bit Mohawk, French-Canadian, so I'm peaceable. <laughs> and German, so I got a little bit of a work ethic in me. But first and foremost, I am an American. Yeah! Now, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I'll wrap it up. In the Declaration of Independence, it says, when any government doesn't protect the rights of its people any longer, we have the right, as the people of one nation, to abolish said government and establish a new one. I think the time is now. Does Occupy Buffalo occupy your heart? Yeah. Occupy. 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 Viva la viva.